Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. Gonna review a Pop Tarts flavor. I guess this has been gone a while and it's back. See here? It's back. Um I never really was a like a fan of like the fruity Pop Tarts. I kinda like the more like chocolate, um, cinnamon, uh brown sugar cinnamon um stuff like that for in the morning these were just usually just way too sweet for me um my wife got these she was like oh i like these and she got these and i was like thinking surely i've reviewed those already that's a basic flavor you know but i was like let me just check just to make sure and i have not reviewed these so I'm going to review them. I guess before they go away again. I don't know. Man. They went away for a while. So I toasted one. And I got one that's just untoasted. Let me break this and open. Let it cool off just a little bit. says back here there's a word for people who eat untoasted pop tarts renegades so i'm going to be half a renegade this morning good source of three b vitamins So for two pastries, you get 380 calories. Um, ingredient says enriched flour. Wheat, uh, in that enriched flour, you get wheat, flour, niacin, reduced iron, vitamin B1, thiamine, mono, mono, mononitrate. Vitamin B2, riboflavin, folic acid. Um, there's corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup in these Pop-Tarts. Sugar. Contains 2% or less of <clears throat> wheat starch, salt, glycerin, wheat flour. Has a leavening in there. Uh, baking soda, sodium, at, sodium acid, pi, pi, pyro, phosphate, mono calcium, phosphate, citric acid, dried grapes, okay, gelatin, and you get dried apples, caramel color, modified wheat starch, natural and artificial flavor. I don't know, they put other fruit in with stuff like this. I mean, what would happen if they just didn't do that? Didn't put dried apples or whatever in here. Just make it just be grape. That's what this is about. It's about grape. Why do apples have to be part of it? You know, I don't know. I don't understand that. <clears throat> okay. Um, while I've been sitting here, I've been smelling the grape. It's kind of a, a little bit of a concord thing going on here. That one just mostly crushed. This is the toasted one. They have a a decent amount of the frosting on here, except for now this one here. The one I toasted had more frosting on it. This one here, 
<coughs> Excuse me. They kind of they kind of failed on you know getting a consistent amount on there. Oop. But it has these. If you noticed a lot, it has these sprinkles. Some sprinkles on there. You have to look pretty close, but they're purple, you know, purplish, grape colored, whatever. Pretty sweet. Okay, so you get it a good amount of a grape flavor. It does have that, like I said earlier, Concord, you know, Welch's kind of a juice, kind of a of a taste. Um, then you get that frosting, that sweetness from the frosting all together with this with this. Um It's good. Um, <clears throat> get my coffee here. <clears throat> it wouldn't be one that I'd buy regularly from from myself, but it's it's good. So sweet. Here's the one that's untoasted. The filling inside is more of a, a pasty color if it's not ignited by heat, you know, so. And, and it usually is, the aroma isn't, isn't as heightened if it isn't heated up. I definitely would would rather just toast this one. So. There you go. So if you were a fan of these, and you didn't know they were back, now you know. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.